Alright guys, I'm not sure if it's super windy, but we are starting today's video on the road. We're on my way to my parents' house, so I'm going to be doing the oil change on the uh, cross door. So we're going to be doing oil change and also a starter on my uh, father-in-law's car. So that's going to be today's little adventure. I just left work, so we're going to go take care of that. I did my introduction for my YouTubes. Oh, how are they? Just driving in the back road, enjoying the weather with the top. Uh, dang, I was gonna say with the top down, but I don't got this <laughs> 2000. situation at uh, market basket today. Market basket! <laughs> I'm being ridiculous because I may or may not be filming, and I may or may not be putting this on YouTube. Oh my goodness. Red dick! <laughs> so we are here, your boy got some Dunkin' because I'm starving and I need an afternoon coffee. the hood and there's that intake I installed not that long ago so this thing is burning hot so we will let it cool down Woo -wee! that thing is toy Ugh, holy mackerel but we're gonna let this cool down and we have to do the starter on that Honda. So here we have it, peeps. So we got the, uh, ooh, this engine is filthy. So we got the Honda here. So first thing we're gonna do is disconnect the battery. And then I believe the starter is right behind the um, throttle body. So throttle body here, starter should be behind it. car is lifted on jacks and you know, I don't believe those are jacks from uh, Harbor Freight so hopefully the car does not drop on me but um, also if you guys have old TV boxes save those because you can always lay on them so you don't get dirty but I got my oil bucket there so let's go ahead and drain the oil so it is a little hard to see but I loosen the 17 millimeter drain plug and now, I should try to do this without dirty my fingers. Perfect. So the oil is draining on this. Got the old man over there just hanging out. He has no idea what I'm saying. But anyway, let's go see what is going on with Hyundai. All right, so here it is. So we have the weasel piss here. Had to use this on a bunch of stuff. Had to use it on the bolts for the throttle body. These are the bolts right here. I thought they were going to snap, but luckily that wasn't the case. And we can now see the bolts for the starter. And uh, I did break a rusted up uh, clamp for the uh, pipe right there. So that's going to have to get replaced. But so far we're doing okay. It's just that uh, this thing has got a lot of freaking rust on it. Look at that. Ugh. Terrible. If you guys go back on one of my other videos, my wife, my wife called me out on uh, using, because obviously I have, husky, I have that Husky tool set. But what she does not know is that this toolbox is full of snap-on tools. Look at that. Snap-on. Another snap-on ratchet. Uh, this, yep, right there. S for snap-on. Look at this. Snap on. Yeah, buddy. 
snap on oh snap look at this thing this thing is freaking adorable I have not used this thing in years oh that's Mac whoopsie but still so woman do not call me out on my tools because I do have snap on tools just that I don't have them at the house because we do not have the room so a future garage build is coming to the channel all right guys we got the new filter here and the only thing I'm going to do is get a little bit of uh, old oil and just put a little bit of oil on the uh, o-ring. Bam! We are good to go. Filter is changed. Oil is drained. So now we're going to fill that back up with some fresh oil. And look what... Whoa! Probably dropped the camera. But look what we got here. Woo. If you know, you know. Bah! Good. Alright guys, so the oil change is done. The car is back up and running. And here is where we are with the Hyundai. So the new start is in. All I gotta do is just put it back in place, which I'm gonna do that right now, and then I'm gonna finish it up tomorrow. All right, guys. So I will see you tomorrow. So the cross tool is done. Guys, have yourself a good night. All right, guys. It is the next day, and we are back home. As usual, we have the dogs out here. So it was a super warm day out today. Um, I had work this morning, and I've been just kind of sitting around the couch. I did watch Kill Bill Volume One for the first time, and it was pretty good. So I gotta watch part two. But uh, we got the S2000 right here. And like I said, I was feeling super lazy. No. So I bought this a while back. If you do not know what this is, this is um, the uh, tint for the lenses, for the headlights. But I got yellow ones. So we're gonna give it a shot and try to install these on there. So the car is super dirty, but all we're gonna do is wash the headlights. Let's clean these up real quick and then I'll go from there. Also, do not judge me because I'm wearing these uh, comfy shorts and some high socks. But hey, I'm comfy. Alright, so here it is. So this is the uh, uh, vinyl. They're actually really big once you have it like in your hand. But um, we also have a heat gun because I think we're going to be needing this. So what we're going to do is uh, spray some misty, uh, misty. We're going to spray some soapy water on the headlights and then we will go ahead and throw this on. So we got one side done. So this install is definitely a 10 footer. So if you're 10 feet away, it looks good. But when you get close, it's a little jacked up. So it does still have some bubbles, but uh, hopefully those will kind of go away. And I did mess up. I'm not sure if the camera will catch it. So here, yep, you can see the imperfection there. I think I scratched the vinyl. And then installing it here, it kind of bunched up. So there, yep, there it is. And now I think the camera catches it. It is really scratched. It is really scratched. So, uh, yeah, close up, it is not the best. But again, it was my first time installing anything with vinyl. Hopefully that side comes out better. guys so that's gonna be it for tonight I'm gonna let these uh, kind of sit see if some of the air bubbles come out the mosquitoes are coming out so I'm starting to get a uh, bitten over here I'm sure the uh, pupsters are also getting bit so again I will see you guys in the morning again all right everyone so it's been about a week since I did the vinyl for the s2000 
Um, I've been kind of slacking on filming and I did not post a video last week. So I'm going to post last week's video this week, which will be, actually it should be done today. Now that it's been a while, there are a lot of um, imperfections in it. So I did mess up and also it's bubbling up a good amount. You can see right around here, it's all bubbles. A little bit on the top and I believe this side is the same so I'm not sure if the camera yep you can see it there and also a bit here and again the car is super dirty with pollen so I hope you guys enjoy this week's video stay safe and this is Esplage Meal driving off